hey what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bolt so guys in today's video we'll be doing some work around using some custom validation so in this video i'll show you how you can trigger validation on your parent component or on a child component from the grandparent component okay so basically the requirement was to have a button on the grandparent component and on that buttons click we have to check the validation on the parent component and the grandchild component okay so by any chance if you are looking for a good examples to you know try these custom validations so guys this video is for you okay so let's start today's video guys i'm kapil your host and you're watching salesforce bold all right guys so let's start today's video so in this example we'll be having three component grandparent parent and child and uh, we'll be testing the custom validation like the required field all the type validations and we will trigger those validation on a buttons click and that button will be in the grandparent component okay so usually we create validations like let's say if you have any validation in child component then you may trigger them on a button or on the child component itself and the same goes for parent one but uh, in this example we will try to trigger those validation on a button uh, click which is on the grandparent component so basically these validation should travel from child to parent and then parent to grandparent okay so if you're looking for a good example then i think this this could be the one for you okay so let me open my org then this is my org let me show you the output first okay then i'll go to the code i have already created three components and add the functionality to a single uh, layer like to from grandparent to parent and we'll be creating the grandparent to parent and child functionality in this video itself okay so this is the functionality guys basically let's say if i will click on the save component uh, sorry this validate component now so you see there is a validation uh, that has been triggered on this parent component and this button is on grand grandparent one okay but the same validation in child component is not working because uh, we are only uh, triggering the parent one okay so let me show you the fun quick uh, functionality quickly okay so let's start with the grandparent one okay so on html side i don't have much stuff here to show you basically so basically we are having input uh, text input number so using these numbers also we'll be creating a type validation and for this input type text we will be having that required field validation of course and at the end we are having a button here and on this button click we are calling this validate function let's go to the javascript quickly okay so in javascript i'm ha just having this validation validate function and on this validate function basically i'm calling another function from the parent component so that will be basically child for this component i know i mean this sounds really you know confusing but i mean this is how it goes <laughs> So for this grandparent component, child component will be the parent component. Okay. So let me go to the parent component quickly. So in that parent component HTML also, I'm having pretty much same HTML, same fields, just different labels. And here I'm having a function and I, this is a API function. So basically we can call it from the parent component. Okay. So in this function, this is the usual way to check for the validations so basically i have used a boolean variable to check it and i'm just checking for all the lightning inputs available in this uh, z parent component don't ask me why i'm putting z before this component name because you know i, I have already used that normal i mean the grandparent and parent component that's somewhere else in this same org so but anyways and uh, we are just checking the lightning inputs and we are just reporting the validity if any okay and after that we are checking the validity for those lightning input if you know any uh, validation like required validation type validation or maybe any regex or maybe validation rule or you know it could be anything so here i'm returning the value 
so if all goes well then it should return true as mentioned here but in the case of any error or any validation it will return false okay now let's go back to the grandparent one so in grandparents save button click i am calling the uh, check validity uh, what was the function name the, yeah check validity function here okay so the reason why i am using it like this this is also very important guys actually the reason behind it uh, you might be having multiple child component in a parent component right it is possible so uh, that's why i'm using the query selector all thing because we have to we have to you know trigger each component validation i mean right now in this example i know very well like i'm only having one child component i mean uh, in this z parent uh, grandparent component i'm just having the parent component but i mean uh, by any chance if you are having multiple components and in that case you should use this query selector all and if you have noticed so i'm using a for each loop here and using this for each loop i am just calling this check validity component of each element okay so let's say if you are having 10 child components so it will call it will uh, call the check validity for each component okay and from the each component it will check like if it is true and false so once it will receive false then it is going to assign false here and this is child validated and uh, underneath that we are just checking if it, it is child validated then it should show validated successfully otherwise it should uh, simply display the error which is input values are not in correct format so same like this if you will click here input values are not in correct format and let's say if i put input values are in correct format then we are not having any validation and let's check out the uh, number validation as well let's say if i put just these letters here okay and click on this button so we'll be still getting the error but right now it is not triggering the child component the grandchild components uh, validation basically so to do the same on the grandchild one uh, so basically this is the z child component so we have to use the same uh, function in this child also so let me go to the parent copy this quickly to the child so now in the child component also we are having the check validity thing okay so this check validity will return true and false okay now let's go to the parent one and now from this parent component we have to call that sorry this is the grandparent one okay from the grandparent also we need these line of code and we have to call them on the parent component okay so yep here it is so we are having is child validated true and uh, let me change the component names the component name is z child okay is child validated false and then here it is checking the next one okay so now here guys we have checked like uh, the same thing if the child component values are valid or not using the same api functionality which we use to check the parent component from the grandparent one now guys here uh, what you can do is uh, you can directly return false if the child component is invalid okay so this could be the one way to doing this you may directly return the false so let's say if uh, uh, is child validated triple equals to false then just return false so basically i mean if the grandchild component validation fails and it should return false and it will skip the below code okay but this is going to be create a ui related issue let me show it to you because you know i did this mistake in my code and i don't want you to do the same so that was the reason okay let me show you the output now so now if i will click on this validate component button it triggers my grandchild component validations so basically if you will see so 
based on the UI, this is not the not the best practice you should do while designing a form. So because you know it will just trigger the validation in a sequence like first it will trigger the grandchild then it goes to the child then it will go to the parent component okay and as per the best practice we should show all the validations in a form together okay so technically I mean it is not a single form it is a mul it is multiple forms but on the UI it is a single form which is containing you know two child components in it so to do that you can just simply skip this line here okay and skip this written statement as well and here you may just add if condition so if is child validated and is self validated then it should return true okay else it should return false awesome now this should do the trick kit is deployed let's check the output now if I'll click on the validate component or validate button it should show me all the validations that exist in these uh, components at the same time okay so let's wait for the output it is taking longer than usual let me reload it quickly no somehow it seems to be stuck okay yeah so let's see if i will click on this validate component button uh -uh, still it is triggering only child components validation i think we missed something into the code so here in z parent uh, so we have removed that line is child validated and oh i think we removed the wrong line from here we i mean we were supposed to remove this line but i think instead of that we removed the parameter declaration so that's that's why you know you should never be hurry okay let me just deploy the code again and Technically, it should work now. See, so now both of the components are having its validation on the place. So we are not having any validation on the grandparent one right now. So that's why, you know, we are not getting it here. Or maybe we can just put the validation quickly. So let me just copy these line of code from here go to grandparent one mm -hmm. okay okay i missed the declaration so let's have it true okay so here we may add this also is self-validated now this should do the trick okay it is still getting deployed maybe poor internet connection I don't, I don't know like you know internet provider says like it should work faster after midnight and it is 12 42 a.m here but still you know my internet is working very slow somehow let's see my it might be get uploaded no not yet. okay now it is uploaded let me just refresh the page now it should not be taking that long 
Now let me reload this as well. So it is basically, uh, here it is. So now if you will click on validate component, all three of them are, are having validation finally. Okay, all right guys, so that it is for today. That's how you may create a validation into the child hierarchy. So if you like today's video guys, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. And if you need the complete code, so I'll be, I will be, I'll be having the complete code on my blog also, which is salesfootball.com. So you may just directly go and check that out and also feel free to modify it as per your requirement. Okay. And that's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.